I got asked by someone recently, what would you say to somebody who's gotten hurt by the church? Well, the first thing I would say is, I'm sorry. Why? Because hurt hurts and hurt people hurt people. And so, uh, you know, as a pastor, I've been hurt by the church. I've also unfortunately hurt people, not intentionally, not maliciously, but I know that it happens. And so I'm always reminded that we should start by apologizing. And then we need to remind people that if we've been hurt by the church, it's people who've let us down not necessarily Jesus. Now, I realize depending on how severe, severe the hurt was, what the circumstances are, there's a lot to talk about. And so I can't even remotely cover it in a little minute message. But what I wanna let you know is that if you got hurt in a church, doesn't mean every church is like that. Doesn't mean all believers are like that. That You just ran into somebody who isn't doing a good job or a church leader who's not doing a good job. And I wanna remind everybody, there's no perfect people in the body of Christ except for Jesus. We've been forgiven of our imperfections, but we still are growing. We're still learning how to walk out in full experience the freedom that Christ has given us. And so there's no perfect leaders, there's no perfect pastors, there's just forgiven pastors, and we're all growing. And so we wanna have that mindset of grace to give people grace when they're imperfect, but also we don't want people to keep hurting us if, if it's really a toxic environment. So I pray that that helps, and I pray that you would find yourself as part of the people of God, even though there's been a history of some pain. And God bless you.